What's up, you guys? Today I'm going to share with you 10 super easy Halloween DIY decoration ideas that anybody can do that you can get all of the material from the dollar store. So let's do this. The first thing we're going to make is these witch potion bottles. So all you need are some glass jars, a little bit of glitter. We're going to get some cotton balls, some water mixed with some paint or even food coloring, and then a couple of little Halloween accessories. So what you're going to do is mix the paint with the water, pop in the cotton balls, add some glitter and let the mixture kind of sit, add in some water, some more cotton balls, some more glitter. And I actually found that the food coloring with the water worked a little bit better. And you can do this in all different colors. So this bottle I did purple glitter with some black. And then the next one I did green cotton ball, green glitter, added in some blue in there. I tossed in an eyeball for effects, which I also got at the dollar store. Topped it off with some water and it really creates this galaxy kind of potion-y vibe effect with all the glitter and everything. I also added in some bouncy balls with spiders in them that I got at the dollar store. Then to seal off the lid, just make sure that it's glued down with a hot glue gun, add some twine, and you can add a little accessory on the top to mark what kind of bottle it is. And then you can place these anywhere and decorate with them. I used them on the mantle and they turned out so well. Okay, next up, we're gonna make these floating ghosts. These are so magical and so easy to do. So all you need is some cheesecloth, some school glue. You're gonna take out the cheesecloth, cut it to the right size, mix equal parts school glue with some water, mix that together, and then you're gonna soak the cheesecloth in that. Then you just need a mold. So you can use a water bottle, a cup, with a little balloon as the head of the ghost, and then I use pipe cleaners as the arms. And then you're gonna drape the cheesecloth that is now soaked in that glue over top, it will work better with two layers and you can let them dry. I let them dry by the fireplace. Then you're gonna pop that balloon and take the cheesecloth off of that mold that you've created and these ghosts will float on their own. You can pop some eyes on and I put some little tea lights under them and they just hold themselves up on their own. These are so cool and so magical and also so easy to make. I just love them. Next up, we're gonna make some spooky soap. This is so simple and so easy to make. All you need is a mason jar, any type of container that can hold some soap. I used green soap with some green glitter tossed in these glow cubes that you can get off of Amazon or at the dollar store. I also had this really cool poison apple one that fit in perfectly. Popped on the lid and put that right next to the sink, lit a candle, and it had all of the spooky vibes. This is gonna jazz up your cocktails for Halloween so much. So all you need are some ice trays. I got these from Walmart. Pop in some spiders or any accessories that you have lying around the house. Fill with water. I also decided to add in some gummies. And then the second tray, I decided to put in some food coloring of all different sorts. In these, I popped in some eyeball gummies, some gummy worms. And this is such a cool way to spice up any spooky cocktails throughout the Halloween season. This is my magic Mickey that I made. He's honestly super easy and super cheap to make. All you need is a balloon, some paper towel, some foil, a little bit of cardboard, and some patience. So what you're gonna do is trace on the Mickey face onto the balloon, and then you're gonna start applying the papier-mâché, which is basically flour and water, with paper towel, and then you can mold the form of his ears with some tin foil. Let that harden and sit. Add in all the details like the stem, as well as a little leaf on top of his noggin. Cover entirely with paper towel and that mixture. Let it dry. Carve out the eyes as well as the nose and the mouth. Cut a hole in the bottom and then paint the entire thing orange. Mm -hmm. 
You can add a tea light underneath. I added a couple of tea lights that I got at the dollar store and he turned out perfect. This is one of my favorites, the bubbling cauldron. This is so easy and so flippin' cool. So you're gonna need some clear ornaments, a nebulizer, a cauldron, and some spider webs. So I filled up my nebulizer and then I stuffed the clear plastic ornaments with this glow in the dark spider web. You don't need to use the glow in the dark. You can use black, you can use white. It's totally up to you, but the green looked really, really good. So I stuffed the bottom of the cauldron first with just some black spider webs that I had lying around. And then I filled it with the green glow in the dark spider webs. And then I put all of the ornaments on top, just glued them together with a hot glue gun, left some space for the nebulizer. And then it looks like a bubbling cauldron and bonus points because it also glows in the dark. Okay, let's make a monster garden. All you need for this is cardboard, some glow sticks that I got at the dollar store, draw out some little eyes into your cardboard, cut out the shape, roll it into a cylinder, crack those glow cubes, pop them into the cylinder. I like to seal one of the sides of the cylinder so that it can actually hold the glow cube, pop them into the bushes, and then at night, these are gonna glow as though you have monsters in the dark. Helping hands. These are super cheap salad tongs from the dollar store. They're just skeleton hands. And then I also found these really cool candles. So here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna cut a hole in each of them. You can just use scissors that are really easy to penetrate. And then you can either drill into a piece of wood or just use something heavy to hold these down because they're so lightweight. So on Halloween night, this could hold your candy buckets and place one of those candles in the hand. You don't have to hot glue gun anything down because it'll hold itself up. You can also take this outside as a cool front porch accessory. This DIY ghost pillow was inspired from a really expensive Pottery Barn pillow that I really wanted, but it's also sold out, so I figured we could make this together. I got a baby blanket off of Amazon, tied some twine around a pillow that I already had just to create the ghost shape, and then I draped the baby blanket over top. I just got a small Sherpa blanket that kind of matched the style of the pillow that I was trying to recreate. I glued it all down in the position that I wanted, cut some eyes out of an old rag, painted the cloth black, glued those on with a hot glue gun, and then I popped that on the sofa, and it turned out so good. Even Carl liked it. These slime cups are so stinking cool. All you need are some cool Halloween cups, some slime, some glitter, some glow cubes, some straws, and a couple of accessories to pop into the cup. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna need some slime. You can mix that with some glitter, make it cool. I stuffed the bottom of the cups with some extra spider webs that I had lying around. It kind of makes it look like the bottom of the jar is filled with a liquid. And then you're gonna mix your slime with whatever you want, glitter, beads, have fun with it. So I did purple and I did green. I also had these eyeballs, so it kind of looked like the goo was falling down the side of the cup. And this is ultimately like a mock cocktail. It looks completely real. It's not, but it's really cool to be able to stage it and put that on your bar cart or on your countertop for decoration. So that's it. I hope that you guys enjoyed these 10 super easy Halloween decoration ideas. And if you try them, make sure to tag me. Mm -hmm.